If you're seeing it, it's too late. I've already read the book, and guess what? I'm going to spoil it. So if you have not read this book, you better go get it. Link is in the description. Hello, fellow Chibis. This is Catching Fire 3 with Five Nights Freddy's book theory. This may be a long video because I... We, I, I just finished this, if you couldn't already tell from the intro before the intro, this intro, you know, ah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 you know what I, you know what I mean, and I'm gonna look through the pages while I do this, so it may be quick, it may be short, you don't know, and I don't know either, but in the beginning of the book, the beginning of the book, the way beginning, it's, it says he sees me. So if you stop there because you don't know who he is, I'm not gonna spoil that just yet. Just yet. Um Charlie dropped to her hands and knees, she was wedged behind the rail of arcade games, and you don't know why it says this. So you don't know until the very end of the book at least. And it has all this stuff and then at, she caught herself and looked up just in time to see the downward swing of a hook. You know, hmm, that might be Foxy, but we don't know that yet. But, when I did read back to the beginning to write, write it down, I was going to write down a script for this so I could say what I wanted to say. I decided that would be too long, so deal with me here, okay? Deal with it deal with me um so it stops there and then it says welcome to hurricane utah charlie you smiled right at the sign and kept driving that's her destination if you don't already know that and um as it goes on it says oh, let's see she was just thinking to herself ten years ago they'd be been best friends this is Friends that she's gonna meet in in this book, and those friends are named Mara, Jessica, Lamar, Ch Carlton, and John. But it will say and Michael. Michael was the reason for the trip, as it does say. After all, it was ten years since he died. Ten years since it happened. If you haven't already seen the theories, well, this proves. That there was five children that were killed by a security guard, and you know, a security. So, a security guard, but it's not just any security guard, it's someone you will see by the end of this video. Here at the end of this video, and I think after I read this book. They should make the movie based off the book. In it's kind of hard because it's kind of weird because, like, this hand is my right hand and it goes uh, that way. And it's, it's confusing trying to understand. But uh, okay. And then, as she drove into the town center, Charlie began to recognize things. A few stores in the movie theater, which was now advertising the summer's blockbuster hit. Okay. So that, yeah, brief, brief moment of surprise, what did you expect? That the whole place would be unchanged? And at, in this book, it does say something like Freddy Fazbear's Diner, Fred, Fred Bear's Diner, but there's nothing, there's no evidence to that being real in this book. But, a monument to the moment of your departure, frozen forever in July 1985, so, they're like, I don't know how long they are, but they do research as it goes on. Let's go, chapter 2, actually, hold on. Uh, she does go to her room, she, um, let's see, the, the first of his inventions was a purple rabbit, now gray with age from music sitting in the summer. The father had named him Theodore. He was the size of a three-year-old child, her size at the time, and he had plus fur shining as in a dapper red bow tie. You may be thinking, is this Bonnie? Not Bonnie. Not Bonnie. The only reason he's not Bonnie 
Theodore, she would call them but Bonnie. And did I pass it? There was a uh it should say soon that there was, that she saw a twitching object and when she was a little kid she remembered it in her father's room and she would think does it hurt? And she did never she never asked her dad and Theo was like a little thing as we keep reading. He didn't do much, only waved the hand, tilted his head to the side and said in her father's voice, I love you, Charlie. And she just presses a button like any old different button and just does it, you know. Uh at the theater they got more complex. Uh some seem to have permanent glitches, others simply did not appeal to Charlie's childish imagination. Let's see, let me skip ahead. Uh, there was a unicorn named Stanley. The unicorn, Charlie had named him Stanley for some reason she can no longer remember, was made of metal and had been painted glossy white. He trundled around the room on a circular track, bobbing his head stiffly up and down. So you press a button right at her bare leg. Yeah, this is the button's point of view. And yeah, so just pushed it and it would come out of a little closet just trotting along. And if you have a good imagination, read this book. This will be great for you. Because you cannot imagine what it would look like because it goes in such detail. Such detail. Ugh, not too much velocity. Uh, the track squealed as suddenly landed the corner and came to a stop as said that. Okay, so her father created those animatronics, and who else you that in those animatronics? You know what else? Um, he is the owner of Fernando's Freddy's, so he does not kill anybody though. Um, so he kills nobody at all. He didn't kill any of the kids. As we get on with the story, it will say. So, uh, oh, also there's Ella, which was in another closet, which was, um, which I think you press another button, uh, and it would bring her fake tea, or real tea, I don't know. So let's just go all the way to chapter two. I remember this book, so some of it I'm saying just out there, I'm not gonna spoil the ending yet. But, you know. Um, oh, here it is. It's okay, Carlton. I'd like to know, too. Char Carlton shrugged, you stopping at his pancakes nervously with his foot. They built over it, he said. What did they build? Jessica asked. Is there something else there now? Was it built over? What they're talking about, because I skipped part of it, was Five Nights at Freddy's. They built a mall over it. And they... Found a way into the mall, they decided to go into the mall, and then they found Five Nights at Freddy's, apparently. Ah, uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, well, let's see, uh, um, okay, here's something, I think it was, uh, Jessica said this. Well, anyway, I used to go and talk to the bunny, what was his name? Bunny, see, like I said, bunny. Okay, just like I said, um, I knew he wasn't real, I just saw uh, da, 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 da. Oh my god, remember when Marlo wrote cards and smells like feet on the wall? And, yeah, that's something I wanted to, so John said he liked Freddy and all that stuff, and da 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 da, I tried to come on, and da 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 Things are different, the time has grown. Let's do it, she said, even if there's nothing there I want to see. So, so now, we're going to... Five Nights of... Ah, uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Five Nights of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Chapter 2, they pulled to a stop, feeling the soft grip of dirt under their tires, and turned off the gun. So that's when they got there. Uh... And... Every... And they went inside... Dark because there's no lighting, and I should probably uh oh, that wire right there. 
And, um, yeah. You really don't know anything about what happened. Uh, and Carlton lived in Hurricane Utah, unlike all his other friends did. All his other friends left for some reason. Well, the murders. And he was the only one not there. Uh, well, he, he was the one that stayed there with his mother and father. Um, he, and Charlie went into the back to find a flashlight. And it's a police flashlight. She has everything in her trunk. Anything that is like, um, anything that's for safety. And, oh, okay, oh, let's see. Okay, it's be it says something is definitely not right. She repeated it's bigger on the outside. Bigger on the outside, Charlie repeated something puzzled. I mean there's a big difference between what inside walls and what outside wall is. Okay, skip that. They go right through a small hallway. And then on this side or that side, the I don't know. And um they find a the door, they open it, BAM! Five Nights at Freddy's, right there, 30 pounds of pizza, right there. They see, they see it, they, they, um, see the animatronics on stage, they do nothing, and they just search around the place, looking at the arcade, the stage, the kitchen, everything, everything. You, little details that you didn't know are in this book, this book, this book, right here, right here, and, um, hopefully I'm not speaking too softly, and not speaking too loud, uh, and let's see, just a second, he's been, I don't think he's, it's not locked or anything, it's just a little rusty, as it says, and they push him, like, fall, you know, well, at least one of them falls, or whatever. And, um... But there is a... Security guard. A security guard! That doesn't see them. Which means... I got my feet out a lot. Which means... That there is someone still watching over this place. And I'm not gonna say who it is, even though I already know. But, during one of the chapters, it does say there's 13 chapters. Look at this font, though. There's this font, and this many pages, plus this many pages. And it feels long, so if you don't like it, and reading books that feel long, don't read it. But it's a really good book if you want to challenge yourself. Okay, let's see. Chica the Chicken with more book. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Uh, there was Barney the rabbit, his fur was a bright blue, his squared off muzzle held a permanent smile on his wide and chipped pink eyes with thick leaded. All that, it's just describing Chica, Barney, and then Freddy, they'll talk about as well, probably. Uh, uh and um, yeah, and spring locks do make an appearance, so let's skip all this stuff. Will they do that? Let's see. Well, let me just... Hold on. I guess she was dead, but she did know. I just tried not to think about this. Um... Okay, 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 and let's... Her father, Charlie's father is dead, the owner of the restaurant is dead, her mother's dead, who... Okay, I'm skipping ahead a little too far, um... But yeah... Uh... Yeah, right, in the motel, hurricane, okay, let's see... Let's skip further ahead, away from the funeral... It was as long as it becomes like a person in the video. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 sorry. 
Okay, they told Marla that Fetty's is still there. And, um, that they want to see it. Jason wants to see it. Lamar wants to see it. I think I've forgotten a few people as the characters. Jessica and John are one of them as well. Which I don't think it listed. Uh, Jason is Marla's kid. Uh, brother, actually. Um, let's see. Let's skip ahead. I can't remember what page it is. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Okay. Charlie, are you okay? Yes, come on, let's go. With okay. Let's just skip ahead by a lot. So, let's just do this part from memory. One night, they go in to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and then the security guard sees them. But it, he turns away, and they were like, Whew! Okay, he didn't see us, but he did, and my hair sinks. When I'm looking into the camera, my hair looks a little weird. At least to me. I don't know, though. So... Yeah, okay. Stage lights. Okay. Let's go back a little. I don't want to go a little too far. Forwards. Um... What is it? Okay, the plane hide and seek, and then... What is it? We have to check for a hidden door. No, wait. Just a kill skin the wall with a flashlight looking for breaks and the plaster and motion to my to do this. We have to check for a hidden door. The last one wasn't really hidden. And do you think the pun so works? I really need to pee. Sorry, I used that to be Uh, there were posters. They're exactly like the ones from the game. So he did add in, kids did add their work. Um, found it, there was a door, uh, they opened it, and what they came in to be is, it's the same as the first room they saw, the first room they had a set of eight TV screens and a large panel of unmarked, unmarked black buttons. Carlton fumbled the phone, the master switch, reaching his hand into a dark corner, then with a click, the power came on, and a soft buzzing sound filled the room. Which bizarre reds and blues begin streaming. So these buttons are what control the animatronics movements, the light on the stage, yada dada machada mada. Um eighteen eighteen seconds so far, I think. No, eighteen minutes so far. Okay. This video might be shorter. Uh just a minute to catch up. Uh let's see. Oh, yeah, so Charlie went behind the curtains that say out of order, and you can probably tell, Foxy, boom, there's Foxy, but the claw reaches up, and snags her right on the leg, right on the leg, and, like, it's not Foxy's fault, yet, it's not yet fault, it's Foxy's fault, it's, it's somebody using the control pa panel buttons, just like, tick, 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 you know, just pressing random buttons. It just sliced her leg. And they went to the drugstore, got some gloves and some medical tape. Medical tape. And let's keep reading. When they got to the motel, da 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 da. So, yeah, all the stuff. And my theories about that, about this book, is. I was right about specific things, like for instance, the dad is the owner. The, what I got wrong though was the dad was the murderer because the kids bullied him. Because that 
could have just not happened at all. And, um, I have a lot of theories, but I'm just gonna go off memory now. After I skip to this one part, there was a really good part in the book. And it was, um, where is it? Uh, suddenly aware that their backs were to the other animals, Charlie startled and turned apprehensive. Freddy, Bunny, Chica, and Foxy stood at rest. Almost as if they were back on the stages, their eyes were locked on Charlie, but they had halted their approach. It's the kids, Char Carlton whispered. Foxy wasn't attacking Jason. <gasps> Mother gasp. Gasp. That's what it was. Foxy was trying to protect him. John took hesitant steps toward the middle of the dining room, and all of them, you know, it's all that stuff. And now Golden Barney, yes, Springtrap confirmed, and, okay. So, they were going in and out of there, and so one time, the guards spotted them, they went in thinking, okay, we're safe. We, the guard didn't see us. And of course, the guy came in, WHAT ARE YOU KIDS DOING IN HERE? And I, OH MY GOD, SORRY, I DIDN'T KNOW WE WERE TRESPASSING. YOU KNOW THAT YOU'RE TRESPASSING, AND, UM, WAIT, BEFORE WE LEAVE, CAN WE PLEASE JUST LOOK AROUND? AND HE SAID, SURE, WITHOUT HESITATION. AND, HIS NAME IS DAVE, AND THEY INTRODUCED THE, THEM, THEMSELVES TO HIM, YOU KNOW? And we blow my hands. Okay, so yeah. Okay, yeah. And um, one of my theories is that um, well, what happened was they, John and Charlie went back to the house, looked through some old files before they went. Uh, yeah, yeah. When afterwards. And then they found out picture of their father. The picture of Charlie's father. And, no, 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 no. A picture of somebody in a spring lock suit. And it wasn't her dad. And I'm not going to go ahead yet. Old boys are going to say. Okay, hold on. I know. I know. I know. I can look back. My book, anyways. Uh, then later on, Carlton got kidnapped by Bonnie, and nobody believed Jason that Bonnie took him because he's an animatronic. So Carlton's dad, Clay, who's a police officer, said no. Oh, it's just one of his silly old pranks again. He'll be back tomorrow. And, of course, whoop de doo da -de da a few days went by, and then Carlton's mom came up. Where's Carlton? Oh, Five Nights at Freddy's. This is probably what her face was like. Looking at Clay, which is Carlton's dad, she, she then said, You know... You know it's- You can't joke about Five Nights at Freddy's. You can't- Fuck. You can't- uh, you, you can't joke about Freddy's. After what happened, he's probably lost in there, and they want to go get him. But, not only that, Jason went in first before any of them. And they lost Jason. They could not find Jason. Then they went to the mall. Because he was going to find Carlton, and he went down through vent. Mar nobody could fit. Marla told Jessica to go through, and she's claustrophobic, and she could not fit. And I could feel like I could feel that she was gonna cry, and so they found an air vent like right on the ceiling, you know, right up. They got a ladder, put it right there, they all climbed in. They all got into Five Nights of Freddy, uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, threw a skylight in a closet. Mind you, that was kind of weird. Um, but if you read the book, you know. 
And, um, what was that? And, oh, they only did that because the door to get in, first it was chained at first. Then the chains were gone, and it w and then they could go in, and then it was sealed shut, like it was glued shut sort of thing, but, uh, melted together. And then Marla and Lamar were in one of the control rooms, and they found Jason. They found Jason. And so what this happened, that all of a sudden, Foxy was banging into the door, like, Banging his way into the door, like, and broke the door and grabbed him. He could not fit into there. His shoulders were, like, um, like, his shoulders were, like, right here on the screen. Like, if you can see, it's like, like, it's, like, you can't get out that way, you know? And, um, so he got his hook. This is his hook. He grabbed him. Jason's leg, Jason's leg, pretend this is his leg, and dragged him out of, out of that room. And all this stuff was happening, and Carlton was taken away by, well, first, he was tied up in a, in a like, thing like this. Like, his arms were out like this, like, wide, wide out like that. And, or, like, like, um, sort of like that, almost, hold on, like that, like his arms were like that, and, um, so, uh, yeah, he, he was stuck in the torso of either Springtrap or Golden Freddy, which is Fredbear, because Fredbear's family diner, the last costumes, we're a golden Freddy and a golden Barney. And the only thing you can know about that is that golden Freddy and golden Barney, Sp Springtrap and Fredbear, could have been the ones that were inside Fredbear's at the time. Because talk about Fredbear's, nobody knows about Fredbear's. And of course, he's stuck there in a spring lock. And one wrong move, and he could die. So, Dave came in. The guard, the security guard at that place came in. And he said, don't move. Move and you're dead, kind of thing. And he's like, who, are, who is that? Don't move, I said. Don't even talk. One wrong move, and the spring locks will kill you, something like that, and, let's skip ahead, uh, actually, let's go back a little bit more into the book, because I forgot about something, Charlie had the rip on her arm, from Foxy, and later on, the animatronics came to life, and this is after Charlie found Carlton, and she knew how to work spring locks, because her dad made it. So, on one side, she grabbed her arm right on the neck of the suit, grabbed the spring lock, made sure that it didn't set anything off, she did this really carefully, and she held it, and boom, right on her hand. I felt that in this hand, my left hand. I was in school when I was reading, and I went, oh, and my teacher asked, what's wrong? Oh, I felt her pain in my hand, and, um... So yeah, what else? And she did that until she got the whole thing off. Then she unstrapped it. It almost fell. So she grabbed it with her knees like she was doing. And when she did the last one, okay, Carlton. When I, on the count of three, I'm going to push the suit forwards and you're going to jump back. One, two, three. Push the suit. Carlton jumped out of the suit. He's fine. But, because the suit, it would go in, like, let's say, right here, there's like a hole right here. Like, from the suit inside him, kind of thing. Like, it's poking into him, 
and he's like, very uncomfortable. He gets out, then he gets a scratch on his hand because he tries to beat him. And so Dave comes back into the room and he says, "Well, well, you figured it out. Charlie had a pipe. He was behind the door, and boom!" And he looked back and he was like, "Oh!" Uh, and just fell. And um, and all this stuff happened. They, the animatronics were still chasing them. They had to hide. Finally, it goes to Clay. And he's looking through Freddy Fazbear's stuff in the police documents. Then he finds out, hey, that guy looks familiar on a picture with Charlie's dad and his partner, Dave. His real name's not Dave, though. Let's see if I can go back to that page. There was a page that it said that what his real name was. Um, let's see. Has Don reported back from Freddy's? So yeah, Don came back because Jason and them were going crazy because it said they said Bonnie's Bonnie took Carlton and they said it's all a joke. Officer Don went into there, and Dave killed him. I could have done spoil- I spoiled the spoiler. Um, and of course, he was going through it, and it's- he said, he was thinking, like, that guy looks familiar somehow, so he looked through something else, and... Let's see. It was the first murder ever. It was the first murder ever, and, um, what was his name? It was, um, his real name was, okay, here, I'm, I'm getting to the page, it's, um, it's, on. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys the page, okay, page 422, uh, uh, third paragraph, one down from the sentence, it says, William Afton. Okay, so that's his real name. He's the murderer, he left, and then, of course, okay, let's skip that, and they all stopped. Like I said, he, the animatronics stopped, and they went on, and then all of a sudden, Charlie got ch was getting choked by Dave, aka William Afton, and of course she's gonna die if you don't do what I say. And Claire was like, "Okay, we will do what you say." And then he's like, "Good." And Chuck gets up right underneath the mask, right underneath the mask, and. You know what these do, right? Or whatever. She grabbed onto the spring locks. She let go. She might have hurt her hand a little bit. But snap! Right on his neck! Right on his neck. And he was screaming and whatever. And he was writhing on the floor. And then, the animatronics came back to life for just to grab his dead body and go. And then they said, those are the five children. That's the murder of the children. And Clay said, I have proof that he m murdered Officer Dunn and those kids. Because Officer Dunn was killed. And, um, they all have proof because they all have scars. They have to have all scars. And, of course, what else? The end. My theory for this, though. Not only is this, the, this is proving everybody's theory, that's why I read parts of the book. The owner is the father. The murderer is not the father. The murderer could not go on to any other chains, because this is the first restaurant after family, uh, Fred Bear's family diner. He killed those kids. He killed all five, stuffed them into suits. Stuff them into the animatronics. Done. He's dead.
The animatronics do come to life at night, but it's because of the kids. Intruders, adults. Intruders, adults. Those kids don't know who adults is. If you're a teenager and you go there at midnight, or at least late at night, because midnight is when they come to life. They stop in the morning at 6 a.m. And because you're a teenager, they look like an adult to you. They will go after you. And they will kill you with those animatronic bodies that they were given. Their spirits haunt it. They, can, they will now go to rest because Clay will find Dunn's body and the kids' bodies, and bury them. Make sure they can be put at rest. And no more Freddy Fazbear establishments ever happened after that. Remember to subscribe, by the way. If you want to see more videos, comment down below what you want me to do next. Uh, hope you liked the video. Comment down your own theory. And I will, I promise, I will add it to my theories. Just like, I'll add this one to my theories. And of course, my theories will be down in the description. And if you want to add your theories to my Google Docs, link will be down in the description. So I won't have to. Maybe I'll just be your new favor, fellow tributes. And I oh I almost pressed number seven. Bye.